A time capsule dating back to 1795 has been unearthed in Boston. It was hidden by Revolutionary War heroes Samuel Adams and Paul Revere. Workers took extraordinary care to remove the capsule from the cornerstone of the Massachusetts State House. Jim Axelrod joins us with what may be inside. Jim, good morning. Well, good morning. Even in Boston, a city that has witnessed so much history, finding an artifact more than 200 years old is still extraordinary. Scholars are excited about what the time capsule might reveal about our nation's formative years. It took hours of painstaking chiseling by a museum conservator to free the time capsule from its stone and plaster tomb. And there it is. The copper case, about the size of a cigar box, wow. was once again held by human hands. State officials said Thursday they have a good idea about what's inside. We have a list going back to the original uh, 1795. We have coins, we have uh, Paul Revere plate, we have a number of things. The question is, uh, what condition are they in? But perhaps the more intriguing question is why Midnight Rider Paul Revere and founding father Samuel Adams left the time capsule behind more than 200 years ago. Boston College historian Alan Rogers says the Patriots wanted future generations to remember what they had accomplished. They knew they represented history, history that would not be forgotten, history that would be remembered as long as the Republic stood. Had it not been for repairs on the State House, the capsule probably would have stayed lost to history. With a state police escort, it was taken to Boston's Museum of Fine Arts, where it will be x-rayed and studied by experts, maybe even open. I still don't think we know, but I could clearly see that there are screws on the top, which means hopefully it's not going to be horribly difficult to open, if we decide to open it. When work on the State House is completed next year, officials say they will return the corroded green metal box back to where they found it. The history of Massachusetts is the history of America, and it's very true, and this is just another evidence of that. This is actually not the first time the capsule has been found. It was also retrieved in 1855. Back then, its contents were washed with acid, raising concerns about the condition of those precious artifacts locked inside. I mean, this is just such a great story, yeah. I mean, and they might have not found it. I mean, it would have really been lost to history yeah. at that point. Yeah, what a great story. I love time. You have to open it, right? Yeah, you have to open it. You have to open it. Al Capone's vault. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you, Jim.